Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks, and this is kind of a two-part video. I, if you watch the other videos on how to create this, I created it and then I changed this and then I wanted to back up to get this back so I could make a video and I, when you back up, this is gone. And I deleted it and I, so it was backed up to where this is. Well, I used the new deal that we just talked about today, the uh, the window, the windows and the V key at the same time, and there it is right there. And I just double clicked on it and I got it back to use an example. So you could go, you know, back up and, and take all the, you know, let's go through some of the steps I had. Well, I've opened it back up, but you, I hope you understand that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna show how I drew this and it's pretty cool. Uh, and I did it with the clone tool. So we're gonna go to edit and clone you need to clone them. I had two of them. So you need to go to edit and clone. Double click on the rotation to put the rotation in the center. Always make sure it's there and then rotate it that uh, 72 degrees. Control D, rotate 144 degrees. Control D, Control D. Now what's cool about this, now we're gonna make this a blue and it made all our items of blue. But what's cool about this, we could take our clone item and use the interactive fill tool and go from anywhere on that item and look what it did. Um, you know, we could change it and make it a light blue up there. We could uh, double click on it. Sometime, we'll look what it did just automatically. I'm trying to put a new block there. Let's bring in a purple to the middle. I mean, look at that because you're, you're looking at it in real time. Now, the other thing you could do to make it pretty cool would be to do the inside. And to do it right, I guess you'd have to take a two-point line and go from there to about the center and double-click on it and put it to there. Sometimes it doesn't look like it's there, but it, it is. And let's rotate it, Control-D, and rotate it 72 degrees. Control D, Control D, Control D. So now you've made five different parts. Let's take away the indexing lines. We don't need them anymore, so I'm gonna turn them off. And I'm gonna take my Smart Fill tool and I'm gonna fill this in and it worked. So we're gonna take it and make it a blue and then I'm gonna make a clone of that. So I'm gonna go, I actually started using it so much I need to make a hotkey for the clone. And then we're going to rotate the center of that 72 degrees. Control D, Control D, Control D. Now this is our clone. So now we can take the interactive fill tool and do like that and look what you can do. I mean, you could change it up a, a lot. That doesn't look very good. Um, let's put it in a yellow and just, you could play around with different colors. That's too close to the one we got. But what's neat about this, you can do it in real time and see what it's gonna look like and then you know change your, change your perspective. It's gonna make it look like that. So try using the clone tool and uh, just kind of play around with it. There's a lot it can do. And you know, you can always go back to your original clone here and change it and let's add a little red right in the middle to, I mean, Wow, maybe not the most perfect thing, but you can still, you know, you can change your slider and kind of watch it in real time and see what it's gonna look like. Let's add a purple to this end and move our red down. And you could just keep playing with it till the, like I always say, the cows come home. Now let's put a, a green on that spot, get some really psychedelic stuff but use the clone tool to play around. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.